Hello, hope you are doing good. Welcome to my Zephy fundraising platform tutorial. Zephy is a platform that allows nonprofit organizations to create fundraisers for 100% free. Whether you're looking to create a raffle or a donation page, you will be able to use Zephy to do that. And there are no hidden fees. So to get started, you'll need to go onto zephy.com. Then from there, you can tap on sign up for free. After you have signed up, you will be redirected to a dashboard just like this. And this dashboard you will be able, so let me log in real quick. On this dashboard, you'll be able to create your first fundraiser. So once I'm logged in, you'll be redirected to the home page. On the home page, the first thing I want you to do is select forms from the left hand menu option. After selecting forms, you're going to tap on create form. Then from here, you can create your first donation form or you could create an event or you can also create raffles or online shops as you can see right there. So let's say for example, we were to select donation at first. After selecting donation, this is how you'll be able to create your campaign. So you could put in the title of your campaign. You can scroll down, select the language. And then from there, you can add a campaign target if you want. So we could tap right there. And then you could put in the campaign target, let's say $1,000. And then after doing that, you can scroll down and you could add in a quick description describing what your fundraiser is about. After doing that, you will tap on next. Then from here, you can see how it looks. And then what is the most common donation amount you expect to receive? You can select any one of these options and then you can edit it right here. After doing that, you can customize your form color and you could also upload a logo right there. And if it is a case that you would like to add a banner, you can do that. You can either choose to add a banner image or you can choose to add a video. After doing it, you're going to tap on next. Then once you have tapped on next, you can see that your fundraiser has been created. So you can copy the URL and you'll be able to share it or you can get a QR code or you can choose to embed your fundraiser on your website as you can see right there. If I were to tap on view, this is how it looks at the moment as you can see right there. So let's go back real quick. So we'll go back to dashboard and I'm going to be showing you how to create other stuff. So we'll tap on create form once more. And then let's say, for example, you would like to create a raffle. You could select raffle, then you could tap on start with this form. After you have selected that, again, the layout is quite simple and easy. So you can put in what the raffle is about. Then you can add a quick description. After doing that, you can add the event date right here. If your event is being held on a specific date, you can tap right here. And then you could put in the date that it is being held at. So you can put in the start date. So let's say, for example, it starts today and it will be ending tomorrow. So we could select tomorrow right there. After you have done that, you can see, you can choose when the event occurs. So whether this is repeated or it only occurs once, you can select right there. Once you have done that, you will tap on next in the top right hand corner. Then after doing that, the total number of tickets per day, we leave it as unlimited. Then you can also select the ticket title or if you want to put a limited amount of tickets, you could probably put in 10, 20 or 100, any amount that you want. Then you could add in the ticket price and you can also add in a description. Then you can scroll down if you would like to add additional donation, you can do that and you can add any additional questions that you would like to add right there. Then you'll tap on next once more. And from here, you'll be able to customize it by adding a logo or a form banner. Then you'll tap on next once more. After you have tapped on next, you can see just like that, we have created our raffle. So for example, we could copy this or you could tap on view your form right there and you'll be able to view it. You can see it right there. So just like that, persons will be able to purchase a raffle and then they'll be able to contribute towards your fundraiser. So you can tap out of that, go back. And then if we were to tap on create new form once more, 
you can see you can also offer peer-to-peer -peer. you can also set up an online shop so you could select online shop and you could sell something for a fundraising you can also set up auction and this is a new feature that you have come in with and you can also set up membership so there are numerous things that you can use the Cephi platform for and to receive payments you will tap on payments right here after you have tapped on payments and to receive payments you'll tap on bank and then from there you can link your bank so you could tap on link bank and you could enter in your information and you'll be able to view your payments by tapping on payments from the left hand menu option right here you'll be able to see your payments and that's it hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative on how to use Zephi fundraising.